Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, we're gonna go over uh, the new updates and talk about what's coming up tomorrow night um, around 7 p.m. And, uh, you know, I don't always cover updates, uh, only when I think one's really important, or uh, in this case, you know, it's been a while. It's been 12 days since I've put out a video, which I think is the longest that I've gone since like maybe the near the end of December last year. And uh, I can tell you, that says a lot more about Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis than it does about me. Because if there were things to be covering, I'd be covering them. But uh, we've been in kind of a lull. And I've been a little bit upset about that because, you know, I don't know if I saw another content creator talking about it or if I read it in an article somewhere or what. But somewhere I... Heard the idea that, you know, Applebot was trying to kind of wrap up Nier, and then after that, they were going to be putting, you know, all of their focus into Ever Crisis. And I kind of thought, you know, when the six month anniversary came for those, whatever it was, six weeks or however many weeks it was, you know, we were getting a lot of updates and a lot of content and banners and all kinds of things. And I was really excited about that. Even if there were banners that I couldn't pull on because there were you know, too many coming up, I was still excited because it still kept the game fresh. However, ever since the six month anniversary stuff has been gone, we haven't gotten like anything. Yeah, they threw in a new event, which you know is basically the same as a lot of the other events. And that's pretty much it. You know, I mean, there's no real new fresh challenging content or anything like that. And, you know, 12 days since the last banner, and that's been the only thing that just feels like a lot. And I really, really hope that it picks back up. Uh, I hope that, that six month anniversary um, uptick or whatever you want to call it that we got, I hope that that's not it until, what, another six months? Um, that would make me very sad. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into uh, what's going on. So here we can see uh, they are going to be doing maintenance. Uh, it says May 8th, which is tomorrow. Here it says 6 p.m. Um, and then up here it says 7 p.m. somewhere. Uh, yeah, here, right here, 7 p.m. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be from like 6 to 9. Maybe it's going to be kind of a long one. They are adding uh, Leviathan, Leviathan. I think Leviathan is probably how you pronounce that. Uh, anyway, well, that's pretty cool. They don't say much about it. Uh, we know it's a summon. That's about it. So not a whole lot to really cover. I mean, we can speculate based on what it does in the game, but I don't really like to do a lot of that unless I see concrete stuff. So with that, the biggest thing that we have here is this battle ranking Fury of Lightning and Wind, which is going to be a ranking event different from the normal ranking events. And I think this is cool. Uh, it does kind of divide the player base a little bit further, but I'd rather have something to focus on than some than nothing. And when it comes to, to strategic content in Ever Crisis, I find that maybe only about half the time do they actually hit the mark. And what I mean by that is strategic content that is clearly beatable. And you can tell, even if you're struggling a lot, you know that you can beat it. You just need to refine your strategy. And then you know, content that is just like so far beyond you that, you know, you can't do it, right? Maybe that's, you know, Bahamut EX2 or Ifrit in Bahamut, you know, EX1 or EX2. You know, some of those are just so far beyond where people are that it's like, okay, there's, there's no, you know, I tried 10 times and I can tell this is so far beyond me or where my account is, I can't do anything about it. Which is, you know, basically as good as having nothing. For, for those players so this is something i think that gives gives us an ability to strategize uh and do stuff you know tinker around keep working on without it being either pass or fail right you either cleared it or you didn't and then once you cleared it there's no reason to go back to it so the replayability on an event like this is quite high i think we don't know for sure but i think and so that's kind of cool um, yeah, does it, you know, is it basically an event for whales? Well, it seems that way. However, if they do it the way most ranking events are, where, hey, you get still good stuff for getting, like, top 100, that could be definitely worth everybody's time. Um, 
Hard to see exactly what's going to go on, but from this little screen capture right here, it kind of looks like you have buffs and debuffs that you can give your team and you can set as many of them as you want. Uh, and here we can see, for example, if you take ally HP minus 50%, it increases the stage level five by five, sorry. And here we see a buff. So ally physical attack plus 10%, but that takes the stage level down by one. Right, and at the end of those, they add them all together, and here you can see in this example, based on what's been chosen, they have stage level 31, which gives a bonus of 110% to your score. Right, and so that's what it kind of says down here, is that basically you're going to set bonuses, which is gonna be part of the strategy based on the team you're bringing in, and you will get a bonus. Kind of like, you know, those events that they've done, like for Easter or for Christmas, um, where, you know, you're doing like the score run and trying to see what kind of score you can get, which I've always thought that it was interesting that, you know, you were trying to get the highest score in those events, but that it wasn't any, you know, there was no competition. Um, you know, they didn't rank anybody because it seemed pretty obvious that that would be possible. Uh, so that's what it seems like. And then for rewards, it seems like we're going to get kind of the standard stuff. Uh, I don't see anything here that looks, you know, based on the picture again, because they don't tell us too much. But nothing that looks, you know, out of the ordinary, which I do think that it would be kind of neat at some point if the rewards could be, you know, weapon parts or things of that nature, uh, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. I don't know. Because, yeah, crystals are nice and, and the ore and stuff. It's, it's all good. I'm not complaining about that. But it would be nice to have something that made some of these events feel a little bit unique in, you know, in the way that we want to go about, like, oh, man, this is really good. I really want to make surge sure that I try here uh, versus, you know, to be honest, what we have here in this event, uh, the Brilliant Green Mirage, like, I'll be honest, I have played this quite a bit and I am not even close to clearing out, you know, these things. Um, I've probably played this Blue Seed one the most uh, and I've gotten most of the stuff that I want. However, um, you know, I would like to get this Amethyst Collar to OB-10. Right now it's at OB-6. Um, I'd like to get these memories and stuff, but I can tell you, I have played this, I don't know, at least one to two times every single day that the event's been out, and I have maxed out my energy at least three times on top of all of that, um, you know, so 900 and whatever, and then just dumped it all into there over and over again. But, you know, at some point, it just seems grindy for some of this stuff, you know? Um... And I, you know, I kind of wish they would, they, they, I feel like the game needs a little bit of fresh air again. I, I said this last time, I guess around December, you know, we've, we've kind of fallen into a lull a little bit and that like really makes me sad because at, at this point, you know, this is pretty much the only game I cover. And, you know, when there's nothing to cover, I, you know, I get a little bit restless and yes, I'll be honest, I'm looking for other games, um, but hoping i'm hoping that they figure it out and pull through here you know we thought we were going to get guilds for example it ended up being uh the high wind the high wind's cool right i this is a great feature but man to be the last part of you know the six month anniversary like the big thing here i don't know like it, it's not as big as if it were guilds, right? That's what everybody was hoping it would be is guilds, which would have been really, really big. Um, and I can even tell you guys, like I've been working on a Discord channel that I was going to try to announce around the time that guilds was announced. Uh, maybe I'm going to announce it earlier. I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts on that. That's pretty much everything I have to say in this video. Just kind of letting you know. Uh, I'd like to know what your thoughts are on these, uh, these notices. Obviously, Leviathan will be cool, but I'd like to hear what people think about this ranking event that's coming up and, uh, you know, just thoughts, good or bad. <laughs> Otherwise, subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.